Hey Cancer, what's up Cancer? Welcome back to the channel. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. This will be for Cancer placements. So Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus, however you guys have Cancer in your charts. I hope you guys are having an amazing Friday, Cancer. Let's see, let's see what's going on with y'all, Cancer. Cancer. Let's see. Cancer. Cancer. Universe and spirit. This is for Cancer. All right. We're going to see who or what is coming towards you, Cancer. Okay. Let's see. Messages for Cancer. Cancer, so we got the seven of cups, five of cups. So somebody um, is hurt uh, over a breakup or regrets breaking up. They re like somebody regrets breaking up with you. They were angry, is what it looks like. Five of cups is like a lot of with that seven of cups, a lot of confusion, anger, sadness. Now they're drowning in their emotions. They did something that they didn't want to do. It could be another cancer. This could be you too. Two of Cups is using my cancer card. So let's see. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. Why is this Two of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah, so somebody made a decision that they re like they regret making this decision is what it looks like. They at the time I thought they thought it was the best thing to do. Or, oh, we should break up, we should end things. Like I said, this could be your energy, Cancer, but this is sure what is coming towards you guys. So let's see. Cancer. So you guys could have been dealing with a Virgo, all right? Um, so this person was wanting separation. Or that's what they were confused about. Yeah. So somebody just was not happy, but I feel like it has to do with them personally. Like somebody is not where they want to be at. Like even though the King of Pentacles is here, like the energy around it, somebody is not where they want to be at. Like financially, somebody feels like they cannot offer, provide security, stability, or maybe they're just like stepping into this energy. But if not, it's like, that's what they want. And somebody felt like they were letting you down and it was best to like, kind of like separate from you or let you go let you do your thing because they felt like they couldn't be their best with you. Like they couldn't, not that they couldn't be their best with you, for you. Meaning like they feel like they couldn't offer or give you enough. The Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. So, and then we got this energy here. So they just felt like, you know, like they were a failure or failing by you. For, for some of you, your family like didn't approve, doesn't really care for them, stuff like that. They also thought that you would be happy if you, if, if they ended things with you. Like so... They're like, okay, well, cancer will be happy without me anyway. So, but now they kind of regret it though. And now they're like in regret. They're like, damn, why would I do this? Why is the five of cups here? Yeah, see, six of swords are in verse. Mm -hmm. So this is them feeling stuck. Stuck, heartbroken, and in regret. Five of cups, a lot of regret. Drawing under emotions and feelings. Yeah, not of swords. They made an impulse decision. 
they were in inner conflict. If it wasn't you, then it was their family or somebody. Yeah, somebody just feels like they just weren't enough for you. Like they could, they can't give you what you really want and need from them. Reverse, five of swords, yes. And it was driving them crazy because somebody really does feel like a failure. They feel like they're not enough cancer. And I know I keep saying that, but that's just how they feel. And I feel like this is something that they keep repeating. Like, oh, I'm not enough. I'm not enough. I'm not enough. You know, they feel like they're not man enough or woman enough for you, for this relationship. Like they really do feel some type of way about themselves. And for others of you, they feel like you're used to a certain type or just the way you are. You know, like you have standards. You you want certain things, security, stability, finances. Like there are certain things that you want and they know they're not able to provide and give it to you. So it's making them feel some type of way. Going to this um, Two of Cups in reverse. Why is this Two of Cups in reverse? Going to the Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah. Yeah, so this person is just like, they fight, they come in for losing. So that's how they told you, like, it's best that they y'all break up. They feel like they just couldn't meet you halfway. Two of Cups Reverse talks about a disconnection. It's also somebody unhappy. It's an unhappy couple. It's somebody in separation or, you know, it's the breakup between you guys. And that's what they communicated to you. Um, but the fortune, yeah, so they could even they could have even told you, like, oh, I hope you have a happy life. I hope you're better off without me or I wish you the best. But that's not what they really wanted. They want to hold on to this. They're trying to figure everything out, but they're burdened with life responsibilities, a lot of things going on in their life. So it's not you, Cancer. It's just life in general or just a lot of things they're going through. But they just felt like they were holding you guys back. And I felt like they couldn't give you, again, what you needed. Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. So, yeah. You guys could be the breadwinner. You guys could have the money. And somebody didn't want to be with you because you have money or if you guys are planning on marrying or whatever, they didn't want to be with you just because you have money. It's not about the money to them, but it's not about the money when it comes to you. But when it comes to them, money matters because you guys are with somebody that wants to be the provider, the giver, all that type of stuff. So this is a big issue for them. Going to the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They weren't raised like this either, I can tell. So yeah, we have the Empress. And as I said it, they weren't raised like this. And they want to come to you with like good news, not bad news. Yeah, the star. They want to come, like they're trying to build and do something, um... Hey, the ones are waiting for something to take off some type of business they started or like some type of business they're trying to start um and i will tell you cancer it will take off and the interesting thing is that it's going to take off while you guys are breaking up and it's not to say that they're going to just be successful and forget about you no but i feel like and i know this sounds weird sometimes we have to disconnect or reconnect right but sometimes a person could be around us and that can be our main focus and it can distract us and we do need to separate ourselves from them to focus on what needs to be done. So that is kind of like what's happening with this person. But it's not, if they broke, like them breaking up with you, they're not looking at it as like a bad thing. They look at it as like, I'm doing you a favor. I need to work on me. I'm going to come back better. I'm going to come back correct. I'm going to come back with everything you always wanted and needed in a person or in me. That's how they look at it. But when you guys do break up, they're going to be able to focus more on themselves and get their shit together. And they are going to come back with a more serious offer of commitment. Their money is going to look better. Um, something that they were doing is going to take off, all right, or get off the ground. For some of you guys, I feel like you even try to help them with this business. Um, whatever this is, yeah, you guys try to help them. But things were just still stuck and stagnant because they needed to figure this out on their own. You can't fight their battles for them, cancer. They got to do this by themselves. So let's see how the Six of Cups is here. I would say like three to six months is the longest you guys will be in separation if you guys are. Yeah, because by then an opportunity or something is going to come into their life. All right. Um, two of Cups. Yeah, like I said, anywhere from the next three to six months, you guys will be back together. Um, you don't agree with this or one of you guys don't agree with the breakup. One of you guys feel like it was selfish, it was petty, it was immature, it was childish. That's not what a grown person does. Or some of you guys are kind of feeling like, well, I thought we were a couple. I thought we were in love. So, like, why, why are we breaking up? Why are we doing this? Like, it's like you get it, but you don't. You don't understand where they're coming from or they don't understand where you're coming from. But in order for things to shift and change in this relationship, it looks like this is what need, needed to be done so that they can come back and rebuild this on a solid foundation. Yeah. Judgments here. One to the Ace of Wands. Yeah, four of wands in reverse. Things couldn't shift because they weren't stable. Yeah, things that they're going to come back to you, though, Cancer. They will. Yeah. They just got to figure some things out. The lovers is here. And when they come back, the love is going to be even better and stronger. It's going to be much better. Yeah. And whatever you guys have, like the chemistry, the feelings of love is all still going to be there when they come back. I know it's just going to hurt you that you guys have to separate, but it's hurting them. 
and everything you invested and did for them, they're trying to do it tenfold and come back and bring that same energy to you. Okay? So it's all happening for a reason. And there will be a blessing out of this. All right? So... Pull some people our cards and see if there's any haters or negative energy being thrown at y'all. They copy your work and take credit for it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Somebody is copying your work. You are showing up as the empress. Somebody is copying you. Somebody admires you, looks up to you. They copy you. They think they are more superior to you. Mm. This could be your person thinking very negative. Like, they could. this could be why they act a certain type of way. I, some of you guys are with somebody that does not like the fact that you are the breadwinner, that you do more like that you're in control that like you got the bread and all that type of stuff. they don't like that it, it bothers them because either they weren't raised like that or they just are the type of man or woman that wants to provide they downplay your success to others to make themselves look better sorry yeah so whoever this is that's stuck on you that is copying you down talk to you to other people it's somebody that you work with or a friend or somebody that's close it's somebody that's in and out of your life it's not your lover you guys know i'll take cards on the ground it's a friend or somebody that you work close with or closely with or something like that so be careful okay let's pull your love cards let's say your person is feeling cancer We have standards. See, I told you this person knows that you have standards. You want certain things and they want to give that to you. See, you still get this person butterflies, but right now they feel like they need to let go so that they can work on themselves. Yep, see the emperors in reverse. They came out twice. See, this person doesn't, they don't want to be codependent either. Like they want to be happy and with you, but they don't want to be toxic, codependent, not being able to help provide. They want to keep up to your standards. They want to give you a happy life. Which is, to me, I think is good. We have pressure. They don't want to be under pressure. Yeah. Look, finances. See, told you. It's always going to be about you guys. But they feel under pressure. They got to get their financial situation together. Yeah. That's what they need to work on. And when you guys separate, unfortunately, like I said, that's when things are going to change for them financially. And then I see you guys coming back together. So, yeah, I do see the split up. I do see about three to six months. Some of you guys can already be in separation already. And um, I guess this count the time from when you guys were in separation. Well, no, because I'm just going off this reading. But yeah, some of you guys are already in separation. Let's see, Cancer. Messages for Cancer. Messages for Cancer. Healing family issues. Yeah, so this is something that has bothered them. Maybe they grew up in a single family household. You know, maybe their mother, they saw their mother struggle, something like that. But their healing, yep, see, look, their mother tried their best, always, never, you know, didn't really have it, but, you know, made ends meet and stuff like that. And they don't want to live that lifestyle. They don't want to go back to that. They don't want to know, they don't, they knew how that made them feel. They don't like that. They also want you to trust them. They, they do love you, Cancer. They just really need to work on themselves right now. Heart to heart conversation. So, yeah, yeah, justice. They're being honest with you. So when they do come to you guys about this, they're not doing it be, to hurt you or to like, be like, fuck you. They're really doing it to make like for themselves and for you. All right. More so for themselves, but to be a better lover provider. It's also about stability, security, being stable. Okay. Especially if you guys are talking about like children and, you know, marriage and a family and stuff like that. Okay. So that is what I have for you, Cancer. That is your reading. If it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. Alrighty, and if you guys would love to book with me, you already know, fireintuition.com. Bye, Cancer.